and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here hi my name is Ness I like to talk about books today I'm gonna to be opening the February Illumicrate box which has finally finally arrived although I can't say much Fairy Loop was also delayed so much. Now I have just opened the full Young Adult Fairy Loop box and I'm gonna be making references throughout this video about which box I felt was the best of the February month, but I won't be showing any items from the Fairy Loop box, so I don't spoil anyone. So if you do wanna see what was in that box, I do have a video separately for that. But I will actively be thinking as I'm opening this box about who's got the better books, who's got the better items, how is it well themed. Fairy Loop, not well themed in my opinion for this month. For me, the book pick wasn't the best either, so a Lumicrate has a good chance this month. It's been so long since I opened an Illumicrate. The theme for this month is Into the Fire. We're gonna put this to one side to see if we can guess the fandoms and the items that are in the box. Part of the fun. I don't know why, but I'm quite nervous. I'm ready to be excited about something. I'm ready to be happy about something. I'm gonna be so disappointed if I've waited so long for this box and it's not it. So the first item, a glass water bottle. This is now the third that I've received of these in my nearly two year, two year, is it two year? Oh my God, is this the two year anniversary of my subscription? I think it might be. The third one in two years and I really like these items. I think they're always really well designed. Honestly, always welcome more, although I know some people don't like them. This is the type of item that I would go out my way to buy in a shop. It's, it's slightly different. <laughs> it's, what? This is not what I was expecting. Because I do genuinely use these, I have one a hand and minus the lid because I have been using this. This is how it came. It didn't come with anything wrapped. It just came with a lid like this with this lovely design on it. So I'm actually thrilled that we've got something. What is inside of here? Eh, never mind. I'm thrilled that we've got some sort of cover, protective cover to keep this safe because I've been taking this to work really thinking it's gonna get smashed in my bag. So that we have something that actually matches the underneath design to put around this one. I'm absolutely thrilled, 10 out of 10, amazing. So it seems like we have retained the same artist, so there is a theme going on still and I really enjoy it. What is in this though? There's something metal in here. What is this? Is this a strainer? Oh, 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 I bet this would fit the other ones as well. So you could like put the strainer in. What, what would I use a strainer for? Tea? Tea leaves? Tea, tea leaves? I've never thought about using these for a hot drink. I've always just put a cold drink in. I also feel like that is scratching the glass on the inside. That did not sound healthy when I did that. The theme of these to me is always like outdoorsy, but this one is like cozy outdoor, like camping outdoors. It's really hard to show you the design on this camera, so I'm very sorry. The quote is, a book too can be a star, a living star, to lighten the darkness, leading out into the expanding universe. Now, in true Illumicrate fashion, there is a mistake on this bottle in the design. This happens all the time with Illumicrate. I can't remember Fairy Loot actually making a mistake like this. Illumicrate, to me, is notorious for coming with spelling mistakes and putting the wrong word in. And in this one, the wrong word is used on this quote here. I am not bothered because I don't even know what it's from. So it's not like a quote that I would be reciting anyway. If they hadn't have told me that this was wrong, I wouldn't have known. But what they have done, which they haven't done before, is they're giving everyone 15% off their next box. For this having been done wrong, and I'm not mad about that. This item, 10 out of 10, I really love it. And I love that they've upped the quality as well by putting it in something protective, something to keep the insides warm and a strainer on the inside, which I don't think I'll use, but I really like this item. Fantastic star, I love it. I would happily receive more of them in the collection. I think they're such good quality. This box is still heavy, even though we've taken the glass item out. This is looking promising. The next item, it says it's a zipper charm inspired by Legendborn. Controversial, but this may be a book that I DNF'd. Although I wouldn't necessarily say this was just restricted to Legendborn. This looks like it could be any fantasy fandom of dragons, which I really like. I think it's a nice item. Compared to the similar item that Fairy Loot has given us, I think this is much better quality and much has much better production. I'm gonna tell myself this is a Priory item. I like it for a small item. Next we have this box here. This is quite heavy. What are you? A, a what? <laughs> a, a book lamp? What do you mean a book lamp? An Illumicrate book lamp. Working time eight hours, charging time three hours. Charging what? What are we charging? What is this? We have a charger. And inside this box we have this packet 
um, which looks like like a wooden book. Looks very inspired by Daughter of the Moon Goddess. <gasps> Do you see this? I closed it and it went off. And then... Oh my god, it, it changes colours. It did, it changed, it changed to green. How's it doing that? <gasps> Are you kidding me? It doesn't stay open very well. It is pink. It is pink. What is going on? Oh my god, it, it just changes of its own accord. Now, now it's red. <gasps> it cycles through the... What on earth is this? How do I keep this open? I am simply amazed, overwhelmed, excited, confused. And it has such a cute design on it. This is one of the most interesting and strange items that I've had from a book box. It keeps wanting to close, if I'm honest, and I, I don't quite know how I'm going to display this. <sighs> the possibilities for this. The possibilities. I need to close this or I'm going to sit here and stare at this for 10 hours and I don't have the battery life for this. Look at it go. <laughs> Beautiful. This is great. I love this item. <laughs> the fun I'm gonna have with this. The fun. I am. Oh. This is such a novelty and I want more of these. Is it particularly inspired by anything? It, inspired by Door of the Moon Goddess. I very rarely get anything like this right so I am over the moon. Just once more. I want to keep this open. I want to put this over here. Oh wow. Oh god yes. Oh. I'm guessing like you open it multiple times and it will stay on one colour and one of the ones is a cycle. I really like this just white. I'm amazed, I'm in love. Right, we must move on because I'm I'm not gonna get anything done. The next item is a gorgeous book sleeve. Always, always, always love these from Illumicrate. This is number three now. We did have a Hobbit one. I can't remember what the last one was. This one looks like it's inspired by, is it the Poppy War? I am on an absolute mission today. This is the Poppy War. Honestly, if you watch my videos, you know I'm actually really terrible at guessing things. I just really need the Poppy War in hardback to put into these. Preferably if I could find or acquire the Illumicrate set of the Poppy War. <laughs> Chances of that happening and not breaking the bank? Nil. I will need a loan for that. But I think these are always really handy, practical items. We all know I love a practical item in keeping our books safe. I love it. I am overwhelmed with the items this month. This, this, which I'm, I don't dare touch in case it closes, because I, I think it looks great, and the water bottle are absolutely 10 out of 10 items. So much better than Fairy Loot. So, so, so much better. But I always feel like a Loma Crate do do better items. Hands down the winner of this month. Four items is going to a Loma Crate. And this is the awful letter of the book. The book is actually not in a bag, this one, so I've just took this off and I can see straight away what this book is and what it looks like. This book is Song of Silver, Flame Like Night, which I knew it was going to be based on the art. If I'm honest, I think I prefer the books coming in the bubble wrap, but if they could put them in bubble wrap and then in a bag so that I could get the surprise, that would be really nice. Okay, so... This is ever so slightly different, I think. I think the only difference here is that they've lightened it and I think that it actually suits this a lot more. It's bringing out other colours nicer, but I don't know if this is a... Are you kidding me? Is this real? Oh, this edition is stunning. Okay, I've just seen something. Right, we're just going to move on. I wanted to show you the back first before I showed you anything else. I'm going to have to check whether these colours are on the normal edition. or If these are the same colours, then I think this suits this lighter colour more because it's standing out more. This, to me, in these colours, is more of a book that I would pick up in a shop over what it usually looks like. But we need to see the masterpiece. I feel like I say this all the time now. But these are the best stenciled, sprayed, whatever, digital, I don't care, edges I have ever seen. And I say this, I feel like I say this every month, and every month just keeps getting better. 
I don't know what it is. I think mine might be a little to the left, but that is okay. Look at this. Look at it. Look at how stunning that is. Look at how detailed this is for have been done on the side of a book. The side of a book. How does technology do this? How is this done? The bottom is this like pink gradient and the top is this dark blue gradient. How do they achieve this detail? How is this detail achieved? I am sorry, I've just had to turn the camera off for a break because I was getting extremely overwhelmed. This, uh, this is already a 10 out of 10. So much better than the Fairy Loot Young Adult book. I'm not sure about the adult book though. It's going to depend on what happens when we open it. On the end papers, it shows that this book is signed by the author. There's nothing on the underneath here, which is fine. Wow. This is like not like a, a standard book box edition. This to me is like a outside of subscription quality book that they usually charge like 40 quid for. Look at this absolute stunning naked cover. It has the uh, the title on the side. Look at this. Oh my god. They are selling books that are this quality outside of subscriptions for £40 each. This silver filing. It's amazing. It's an actual work of art. Can you imagine what the author did when they saw this book? If this was my book, and it came to me like this, and someone had turned it into this, I would be broken down on the floor, I would not sleep for seven days, and all I would eat is desserts. Like, like what is life? I love this, like, so, they've done this so well. The justice done to this book, the fact that they've taken elements from this and done them into the... Illumicrate. I've been saying some things about you recently and I'm overwhelmed and I apologise. <laughs> so the end paper's really nice. That's where the author has signed this book. It is the same on the back without the author's signature. I will say this is creaking a lot. I'm not sure that mine is probably stuck in here. I'm, I'm not convinced that this is not going to fall away from here, but that's not their fault. That's whoever's actually produced this book. This book is by the author of the Blood Air series, which I haven't read, but I think Illumicrate did a special edition of that series. I'm going to admit, this is a book that's been on my radar and I was like, I do want to buy it because it sounds straight up my street. It's based on ancient Chinese mythology and folklore and it is reminiscent to a lot of the books that came out this time last year, some of them that Ellie McQuaid did do. But now that I've seen this book, I am mentally overwhelmed and whatever I was going to say about this has gone, it's gone out the window. It is on a journey at this point. I am blank. In a fallen kingdom, one girl carries the key to discovering the secrets of her nation's past and unleashes the demons that sleep at its heart. The main character is called Lan, although now she goes by a different name that colonisers of her kingdom gave to her. She spends her days scavenging for remnants of the past, for anything that might help her to understand the strange mark burned into her arm by her mother in the last act before she died. No one can see the mysterious mark until the night Zen appears at the tea house and saves her. Zen is a practitioner, one of the fabled magicians of the Last Kingdom, whose abilities were rumoured to be drawn from the demons they communicated with. Magic believed to be long lost, magic to be hidden at all cost. Both Lan and Zen have secrets buried deep within. Fate has connected them, but their destiny remains unwritten. Both hold the power to liberate their lands and both hold the power to destroy the world. 10 out of 10. This box is an absolute 10 out of 10. This is one of the best Illumicrate boxes that they've done in a long time. The Fairy Loot box this month in comparison is not in the same league. I am sorry. They are miles apart. This box for me, 100% value for money. 100%. I would have paid that just for the book. I love the book sleeve. I love them as an item. I love the fandom choice. I love this glass water bottle and I love the protector that it's came in. They are some of my favourite Illumicrate items. I want more please. Whatever this is, the novelty of it, I know it's a novelty, I know it's a novelty, I know it's probably a really cheap item, but the joy that this has given me already and will continue to give me, priceless. Before I go, I do just want to remind everyone who maybe does not watch my fairy loot unboxings, I do have a little giveaway I guess going on right now, I say I guess because 
I'm just saying this is kind of like an ongoing thing. I'm getting to the point where I can't possibly keep all of the items that I do get and I genuinely have just been keeping them mostly unused in a drawer. So I'm starting to put them all in a box and when this box gets full, there's about 15 items in here. I will post this to someone at the moment. It's just for people in the UK. You just have to tell me if you're subscribed to me and I'll send it to someone. It's all picked at random, but you do get a bonus entry if you have never been subscribed to Ellie McQuaid or Fairyloot because I would prefer this to go to someone who's never had a subscription but might be interested in some of the items that I have been shown on my channel over the last year or so. You can tell me in any way that you want to be entered into this. You can leave a comment, you can tweet me, you can message me on Instagram. I expect to fill a box maybe two or three times a year. Thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on this box. Fairly who? Don't know her. I am over the moon, ecstatic, happy and I hope that if you got this box you were happy too. Let me know what you thought. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you stick around for my next video. Take care everyone. Bye guys. Oh that was something. <laughs>